Well, I am so excited to be here and be picking up some horses. So let me introduce you to the horses and the people that Hello, gave me a call. Hi. Sugar, Sugar Baby, and Ringo. And Ringo. I just named him Ringo. The paint? Yeah. So Sugar Baby and Ringo. Yeah, Sugar Baby. Awesome. Sugar, sugar Baby and Ringo. But they don't, that's not kind of like, it's up to the family, whoever adopts. Okay, so, sounds good. Yeah. And do you know how old this mare is? You don't know how old no, Sugar is? Maybe four or five. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're beautiful horses and we'll do the best we can to find them some homes. And so both the babies are just yearlings probably, right? Yeah. The painted one is not actually her baby. Yeah, they're about yearlings and the mom, we never saw the mom, so he's kind of got that little stubbiness in him. Okay. That you usually talk about when they're removed from their mothers. Too yeah. Early. Yeah. So he, that's what I learned about him. You're saying the paint one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the paint one. The other, the other one is her baby. Okay. So. Well, nice to meet you guys. And now we're going to try to get them loaded up here. So. Yeah. Get to the gate. Get to the gate. Uh, yeah, it'll be. It'll be. Okay. Am I taking your? Am I taking your dog with me? Yeah. Then <laughs> no, I don't think I want that. Come on, dog. Ruffy, come here. Ruffy. Ruffy. Ruffy, come here. Ruffy. Uh, well, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Tom, you're quite the cowboy. You know how to do this. <laughs> well, nice to thank meet you. all you guys. Yeah, do you watch you. our channel too? Yeah. <laughs> I do. All the boys on the res are going to yeah. be saying, who is that cute girl? <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I picked up these horses and the last thing in the world I needed was more horses. But someone that watches our channel reached out and they can't afford to feed these horses. And they knew that I could hopefully find good homes for them. Well, a lot of people reach out with that desire, but these ones caught my attention because of how cute the babies are and the color of all of them and also the condition the condition of them is not good especially the the mare and uh so let me turn it around and i'll talk to you about it so here they are you can tell the mare is super skinny and uh so let me get up close to her but then as i get too close she gets nervous and she takes off that's her baby, the little buckskin filly. And then the paint is not hers. And he's a little uh, stud colt. Super cute. My nephew Nash actually had said, Uncle Alan, will you look for some a baby for me that I can maybe train and, and sell for some money and I've done that for my kids and my nephews and nieces and so. But anyway, I don't, this one here may be hard to find a home for just cause I, I don't know much about her yet, but she seems kind of wild. She has a halter on, but as I talked to the people about it, they said they had to trap her or confine her to get a halter on. And so I think that's been on there for a long time. You can see how it's worn, worn into the hair. Now, I've had people, when they see a horse in bad condition like this, say, I hope you reported them. I hope you got them in trouble. How dare they do that? Well, that's, 
that's not me. I, if someone reaches out for help, then bless their hearts, I, I'm gonna try to help them out if I can. There's so many, I can't take every horse in the world. <laughs> Even, I mean, I've had people reach out a lot just this week. And like I say, this little group caught my attention because I feel bad the condition this mare's in. I love buckskin color and paints are cute. They're not my favorite personally, but that's still a cute little stud colt. And uh, so my nephew Nash reaching out <coughs> definitely made me think, you know what, maybe one of these babies or, or both would be good for Nash. Nash is, I think 12 or 13 now and has a passion for horses and their family just bought a ranch. And so I think these might be just right for Nash to, to gentle them down and then find, help them find a, a better home. And so <clears throat> if Nash doesn't get them, those two babies will be available or they'll be available from Nash. So, but I'm gonna let Nash do the getting them gentle and stuff. But I would love to at least put a halter on them and start messing with them. Nash lives four hours north or south of here. And so I don't know how soon he could come up and get one of them. So anyway, I'm gonna start the process. And like I say, they're really good about me being just close to them. But when I get super close, it scares scares them and they take off. So I'm not scaring them, I'm just walking up close to them. So I'm gonna put them in my fancy chute here. I may see if I can get all three of them in there just because they'll be a lot more calm if they're right next to each other. And Casey is out of town right now with Vicky for Casey's birthday present, we purchased her a, a camp, a high jump camp in Texas, in Houston. And Vicki took her out there and they're having a great time. And Blake is with our church group, ice skating in Flagstaff with a bunch of young people. So, so it's just me, so. I'm gonna see if I can rig up my chute and we're gonna see, see if I can get them in there. And hopefully I have enough battery on my phone and we'll just get the process started. Oh, I wanted to show you something though. Again, Sylvia and TJ, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending some wormers. But I got five brand new halters in the mail this week. And the crazy thing is, there was no note, no reference to who it was from, but there was a catalog to this Mr. D's Tack and Vet Supply. So maybe Mr. D sent it to us. I have no idea. <clears throat> so Mr. D's, I'm giving you a little shout out. If it's you that sent it to me. Oh, sorry, the horses were snorting back here, but it was because Lex wasn't happy with them over there. Anyway, so if you're, if Mr. D's Tack and vet supply sent it to me you're getting a shout out if you didn't send it to me you still got a shout, shout out and i appreciate whoever initiated that because these rope halters are really nice and i'm hoping that i can get some halters on these babies so let's go at it well that worked perfect so they're, they're crammed in that chute. Some people don't like maybe the fact that I have to put them all in there so tight. But tight is good because it allows me to mess with them without them being able to move much. And so less likelihood of them getting hurt. And they'll realize that, hey, this human's touching me and it's not hurting me. And so let's go at it. Let's see how, or let's go after it and see how it goes. So. See, as I get up close, it's gonna freak them out. See it, they're scared, but they can't go anywhere. So I can start to touch them. 
and see that hey girl see it doesn't hurt i'm wondering i don't know i'm wondering if she's ever been broke to lead but the fact that see just me pulling on her she pulls away and so i don't know it'll be interesting be really interesting i also want to see how old i think she is and that's going to be almost impossible with one hand i mean i can stop videoing oh yeah it's gonna be too hard with one hand but anyway let me uh see if i can somehow mount a camera and you can watch some of what i do here Well, I got two of them dewormed and one of the boxes with the dewormer in it was a used syringe of wormer. I didn't realize that. So I got to grab another one, but that's, that's my first thing I always do with these horses that are wild. They've probably never had dewormer in their life. So there's likelihood they have worms. So first I deworm them and now I'm going to try to put some halters on. My camera's getting low on battery. So We'll see how much I can take you along for, but um, let me go grab another wormer, dewormer, and maybe I'll get a halter or two on. So I just ran into my tack shed to grab some stuff, and we cleaned it out recently. And so I just wanted to show you, I love, I love, I love, I love my tack shed. My son Bryson found, sorry, that wanted sign's just there because it's fun, but anyway. My f son Bryson found this stuff, it's called Pro Slat. And we're super excited to s surprise you with a garage makeover that we're working on. But we love Pro Slat. It is so cool. It's got this like tongue and groove, easy installation. It's like a PVC panel. And then they have all these cool things that you can hook on wherever you want and they hold tons of weight they also have these universal brackets like let me take this off that universal bracket there the t shape and uh we put a saddle rack bolted it on there so we have all our saddles and tack and everything and anyway it's just awesome so, sorry, I wasn't planning on a pro slot commercial other than the fact that I love this stuff. It's cleaned it up so much and it gives me all kinds of, oh, let me show you, sorry. There's all kinds of these 
bracket. There's just every kind of bracket you can imagine. Even like, this is cool. They have like a, what do you call it? A magnet strip here that I can put, put tools on or whatever. Anyway, some of these are just old um, things that I, which was kind of crazy. Some of these little brackets fit too. So, but um, just love it. So, thought I'd show you, since some of you may be wanting to remodel your tack shed or whatever, it's been perfect for us. I'll tell you that. So, well, I got a halter on this beautiful little paint. I'm gonna hurry and deworm her, but you've seen some of that. So let me hurry and do that and then we'll try to get a halter. And I decided to go with this halter just because it was a snug fit for a few days to make sure it doesn't slide off. And then I'll try one of those rope halters on the buckskin. Look who has a halter on. Isn't she cute? Like say, she will not be hard to find a home for and neither will the paint stud cult. This older mare may take a little more creativity and help. Well, I'm no expert, but I would say from, from what I know and my guess would be that she's probably 12 years old. And you can tell by how long, how, if their baby teeth are in, it's pretty easy. At two years old, their first two uh, adult teeth come in, and then it kind of goes from there. All of her adult teeth are in. They're long, but they're not flared out like an older horse yet. So I'm guessing her to be about 12 years old. But she's never been broke to lead, I can tell. I mean, she's very skittish. Let me see if I can show you real quick. It's easy to tell if a horse has been broke to lead and you'd think with a halter on she had been messed with. But as I go to touch her, see, she does not even want her. And then once I do grab her, well, there's a little bit of submission, but not a whole lot. Anyway, we're gonna, we'll start messing with her. And she's now dewormed and we can start trying to get her gentle. Oh, oh and hopefully we can find her a good home. There's a chance she would be pregnant again, depending when she was, she's been caught up and the people couldn't afford feed. So a lot of people catch these wild horses with the intent to have them broke to lead and, or to ride and to do things with them. Then they run out of hay money and and then their alternative is to let them back go in the wild, but then they stay pregnant. And if a famine or a, not a famine, what do you call it? A drought hits like we normally have around here until this past year, we've had a ton of water. But um, normally when the droughts come, they can starve to death, they cannot have water and she'll end up pregnant every year. And so anyway, the best case scenario now is for these babies to go to good homes and this mama to go to a good home. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed coming along and and last thing in the world I needed, but but we'll do the best we can.